just in terms of your life in general, say after you became Muslim, how would you say that affected your journey on self-development and also your journey in business? Because as, excuse me, as far as I understand it, you've been in business for a few years or four or five years and you became Muslim one and a half years ago. So how would you say, has that affected your business practices in any way in terms of the ethics and stuff like that? Yeah. In terms of affecting my business tremendously, basically, like I can tell you maybe just two years, two and a half years ago, I was completely broke, even though I was like owning my company, like I was not making any money. I was like broke. And just like last week I bought like a, a huge land, which I don't, I'm not going to mention anything, but like I'm in a completely different world now. And it's all from one dua, one dua I made. No. Basically, I went to Istanbul, I converted, I went to Istanbul and I just, it's actually my YouTube, this dua thing where, yeah. you know, just from one dua, one simple thing, I got 12 clients or something and just start pouring in and I decided, okay, I'm just going to let Allah guide me, like whatever in business because and I had this intention of owning a home or something without a riba because I felt like I'm going to be a Muslim. It's very difficult here. Like, how am I going to do it? But it's just Allah give. If you are, if you want, like whatever is possible, you just have to ask for it. And uh, so it had a, like a, it changed my life completely. Like I, it's essentially, yeah, I was a businessman. I actually am not, I'm not doing anything else. I'm still doing the same business. <laughs> so like my, any, nothing changed in my life in my sort of strategic thinking or anything like that on my company services it's all the same it's just this now i'm a muslim and there's a different i don't know what happened but yeah so it changed a lot and my thinking yeah so that's i think the biggest impact i had that's definitely something i don't think it would happen like without me becoming a muslim because even the idea i had a creative idea which wasn't from my head it, it was completely random and i know it's random doesn't exist in islam but i know it didn't come from me this idea and i, I just know how to execute things so i'm a very good kind of a startup guy where i have an idea i launched multiple projects very quickly to just quickly get the market feedback i don't like to wait for things to work out or pray that maybe after two years of developing something it might work no let's just launch something very small quickly get feedback let's see if it works and then if it does then let's improve iterate and create a better version that's how like business works because once if you spend too much money on developing something people don't want then you're broke you wasted a lot of time yeah i just i have this i think that's my biggest skill set but but the idea wasn't mine it just came to me from the above so i just executed the idea so i don't actually I think I did anything special, just the same thing I'm doing all the time. Blessing, because Alhamdulillah, that definitely solidifies, strengthens your Iman and faith. And it's like unexplainable when you have these occurrences that are only through a dua or like only through praying or only through Allah. And it's a feeling that you try to, it's hard to get across to other people because it's literally yeah. quite life-changing. And what I would say is like you're saying, maintain that level of gratitude because it's easy to start you get shaitan you can What's start that? thinking like i did that like it's me yeah and it's not it's yeah me. especially in this it's a danger that i've spoken about before in terms of being on the self-development kind of hype because you're analyzing the different skills that you're acquiring and stuff like that it's very easy to think oh yeah but i read this book and then i did this but you you did that all through the guidance and kind of the will of Allah yeah. wa ta'ala. like you have to just understand your risk was already determined for you it's mm. not you're doing it. It's just you're going in some direction. Yes, you have some free will, but the path was already predetermined. Yeah. You're just walking through it. That's how I see it. Before I was like, yeah, I'm like, I was like watching these videos. Yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire. Like these yeah. ideas, like millionaire before 30. What? How does that help you? In it? Even if you achieve that goal, you're empty then. Like you go, and what next? Two, two million dollars or what? Yeah. Like three and th that's my life just so such a shallow goal to yeah. have this mindset and just i don't know i used to be that guy who was like hyped up by all mm. these things and i just look at it now whenever i watch a video like from some guru or something it's just laughable to me right now it's really laughable like oh, i used to believe this